And so these things apparently go for about 10 bucks in a thrift store, if you're careful. Um, but it does need a battery, so I've um, got to go pick one of those up on Tuesday. I put it on order. Hopefully the, uh, the Kanukistan holidays will not interfere too drastically with my ability to pick it up. And then I can pop a battery in there, an SD card, and you can see if this thing actually works. Which I'm, I think it will, you know. Um, it looks like it's in pretty good shape, except for the fact that it's missing the battery and the cables. But... What else? Just pop the card out. That's all you need to do. I'm not going to be able to... Well, if I do find a Navy cable out, I might be able to do some remote control with this and maybe use it in a telescope project. Who knows? Um, or it could just become a, uh, a dedicated video recording uh, camera. We'll see. See how it does. Oh, yeah. Here's a battery in there. <laughs> hmm. And now she does nothing. All right, so we got a battery for this guy. Let's pop it in and see what we got. All right, that's making a happy sound. But uh, that's not a, a happy sound at all, that lens error. Okay, um, so there might be something that we have to do to figure out what's going on in here. But, no, well, it's a step forward. So, there are screws on the bottom here. That doesn't appear that it needs to be removed. There are no screws that I could see in there. There's a screw above the AV out. I removed the two screws under there. There's a screw on the top here. I removed those, th whoops, I removed those three. There's a screw on the top here as well as, right, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. And it gets us part way in, but there's still something holding it. And where is there? Where is it just? I'm betting that there is a screw under here because they like to um, hide screws underneath rubberized portions of things and that is exactly where it's providing us resistance so i'm going to dig under there gently to see if i can uncover some sort of a he says gently as he just digs his way under there no so far no No, nothing under there. Remind me to redo that plastic. So what is, maybe I have to pop the buttons off? I don't know. Okay, no, it was just, uh, just needed a little extra prying. So now let's just pop up this ribbon connector. And we can pull the back off so that we don't destroy that. And now, let's see how we get at the lens assembly in the front here. Okay, I wonder if the front of the, the camera is providing mechanical stability. I see a little screw in there that is holding down something on the front. So I'm going to try and start taking parts off of the top of here and see where we get. So we've got a couple of ribbon connectors. This one was tacked down to that glue, and then this one just pops into here. That takes the LCD off. Let's see what we get underneath here. This gives us any more joy. I don't I don't think it will. Although it might. What's under this tape? Oh, look at that. Yeah, I did that again. Pop the clamp off of there. 
Okay, so up in here, there's a piece of cable management that's held down with one screw. But you have to, to get it out, you have to undo that connector, and then it reveals another screw up there. So let's pop that out and see what we got. Okay, so there is some more, there's more tape to remo be removed there and there, and then that removes this circuit board assembly. But since it's soldered onto the speaker there, before you can actually free... Oh, there's also this little... These LEDs are glued down there. You need to um, pop this ribbon cable out. This is going to be a bear to put back together. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> now, I would like to be able to pop this speaker out too, but it just does not... Seem to want to do that for some reason because that's a fragile fragile cable okay so i'm just gonna have to just flip that over i'm just gonna have to be careful about the wires that are left over because we've still got um a lens assembly but it's all apart we've got our flash up here viewfinder this will probably get mounted first, I'm guessing, when it goes back together. But now we, now at least we have our lens assembly free. Oops. Now we have our lens assembly free and we can start taking a look at what's causing that to chooch out. Okay, I think I've got all the cables that need to be connected, connected. That's the display cables. That's the thumb wheel here. Um, I need to connect in the back keyboard into there. I'm going to leave disconnected the uh, the hot shoe and I'm going to leave disconnected the buttons and the speaker on the side so I'm not going to get sound out of it but hopefully we can get some chooching on that lens. Well it still gives the lens error so we're going to have to see what um, what might have got mucked up in the gearing in there sadly but I think we are hopeless. Okay, well, the fact that the, the sensor PCB moves around is probably not a good sign. So some heat epoxy will have to, some uh, heat transfer epoxy will have to be used to re-glue that sensor down if I can get this um, mechanism to work again, which I am seriously doubting that I'll be able to, but just for the record. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I took the uh, rangefinder off of there. And now that exposes this main gear here, which I think is what's at the back of a gear train that is run by this motor. This, I believe, is the autofocus motor. This is the zoom motor. And that is what is giving us all of the grief right now. So let's take a dig in there. And after taking the four screws off on the back here, which are, where are they? There, 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 and there, and removing some tape so we have some clearance on some circuit boards, we can lift off the top and we can clearly see that this thing is stuck in some sort of locked position now because it's almost impossible to rotate. So now we have to figure out how that lens assembly comes out and how we can free the um, free the blockage. Okay, so given the way these ribbon cables given the way these ribbon cables enter here, my guess is that this can pull out and maybe we'll see more there. And so yeah, just pushing that through removed this assembly. And now if we take a close look at it, what we see is we've got inside here, don't know if you can see it. Let's get some more light on it. You can see that there is a, can you see it in there that there's a ramp and there's another ramp 
and another ramp that goes into a trough down there. Well, trust me, there is. And I think the way this thing works is once it gets into the trough, it spins the lens out and it pulls the lens back in. So we have to figure out how to get it into there properly so it's not binding. After cleaning out all this crud from the jammed seal that is actually supposed... Where is that supposed to sit? Let's pop this guy out. There was a seal that was planted in there somewhere, right in there, and that is designed to keep dust out. So once I popped that, got that cleaned out, and now we've got what looks to be a more or less functioning lens. Now let's just spin it around to the proper orientation. There we go. So this spins freely. And then my guess is that when we drop this guy in, um, with a proper orientation, or am I missing a sleeve? I might be missing a sleeve. This will work properly too. So let's try and get back, get it back together and see if we can figure out how it was supposed to have gone together in the first place and then make our chooch. This is a nice mechanism here. So it looks like we've got some electromagnets that are pulling this lens closer or farther away um, to, well, I would presume to do focusing. The autofocus is through magnets against a spring. Could that be? It's pretty, pretty amazing if it is. Now it's a little hard to see in there, but the um, when you've got this in the right orientation, um, there's a little V that actuates the 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 lens cap, lens shutter, and that is. Um, that's how those two go together. So remember that orient. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we can extend the lens out and in by rotating that guy. So now, and I'm not sure why it does that, but it might be for focusing. But now we can figure out how to orient this, then drop in the sensor, and then try and put this thing back together and see what we, or sorry, the uh, focus is humbly and then see if we can get this thing to really chooch. So step one is getting this guy aligned up so that it can move freely. The next step is to get these guys working. So what we've got here remember is those notches for the uh, for the shutter so make sure that that's working and this guy has to go free. Now I'm not sure what the orientation of this is but I do believe that it is symmetrical with respect to three 120 degrees. So I'll just line it up so that the right slots come in there. And we'll see how we go. I think I've got everything all wired back up the way it's supposed to be. Let's see if the motor extends the lens. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Can we wind her back in? Nice. Okay.
Oh yeah, here's a battery in there. <laughs> hmm. And now she does nothing. I let the magic smoke out. So, let that be a lesson. Don't play around with the uh, with the gear while it's got the battery in. Hopefully we can learn something. Likely. Likely we won't. <laughs>